Hello everyone. We hello everyone. We hope you all are doing well. Welcome to another fan to play fantasy match preview. This is for the South Africa T20s. And yes, uh, the feel is the feel that you get might be a lot IPLish because of the kind of teams, the team names. But uh, that's the beauty with the way uh, the Indian T20 league is spread. But uh, first up, we have Nikhil Bhai with us today. And uh, he's already told me that he's forsaking the first prize of this amazing leaderboard for me. And I'm, al- I'm also forsaking the first prize for all of you. But uh, <laughs> yes, like you can see on your screen, there are some top prizes. There's a bike, there is there are mobile phones, there's a laptop to be yeah. won. So there's too much for you that is available. So ensure that you yeah. participate. It's exclusively on the fan to play app. The app link is in the description. So all you need to go do is go participate and I'll tell you another good thing about this leaderboard. That is, the competition is very, very less in comparison to what you'll see at other leaderboards. So like you can see here on your screen, it's only 5,000 spots that you're competing with. You get 20% bonus to join this contest. So that 20% bonus that you have, you can use it to join this specific contest. And the entry fee is 39. And obviously, you also get to win the Grand League within apart from all of these prizes. So yes, there's yep. a lot on offer for you. So, Nikhil Bhai, tell us your thoughts and are you going to be making the full 25 teams or how many teams are on your target list? I think it should be 5 to 10. I'm not sure if I'll make 25, but uh, I think 5 to 10 does the job for me. So, yes, let's keep trying. Yes, absolutely. So, you've heard it from the best. And now, let's first up hear what we have in terms of venue conditions here at Cape Town. So, venue conditions, Nikhil Bhai, uh, Cape Town typically generally helps pace more than spin and you see middle order batters prospering here. So, is that the order of the day or you see something else happening apart? No, I think it should be very similar to that. Uh, new ball wickets, middle overs batters to do well. And very interested to see how the tournament pans out. Because the new tournament is a lot of unknown for everyone. So, we all have a सेम पेज से शुरुआत करेंगे पर जितने भी लोगों ने जितने गेम देखे होंगे आपको पता है पेस और बाउंस होता है मिलता ही आपको पर कभी hmm. कभी कभी ऐसा होता है कुछ कुछ विकेट्स टुवर्ड्स द एंड और समटाइम्स दे स्टार्ट टू एज स्पिन आल्सो सो दैट इज समथिंग दैट आई एम वेरी इंटरेस्टेड टू सी कि वो कब होता है आई एम श्योर शुरू में तो नहीं होगा और लाइनअप भी वैसे ही रहेंगे आपके पास तो ऑप्शंस काफी मिलेंगे तो आई एम एक्सपेक्टिंग अ इवन विकेट 160 175 काइंड ऑफ स्कोर्स विकेट्स फॉर पेसर्स and uh, good, good good value for good batting yes absolutely it could go that way and as far as the ground is concerned pretty even on all ends it's about 70 meters there's one short boundary at one side of 58 odd meters but apart from that it's 68 to 70 meters across the other sides only one straight boundary at 58 yeah. meters and now let's look at what we have in terms of the base team for this one So let's look at the base setup for this specific game and I'll just present my screen. Sorry for the lag there. No so first up in the keeping section, we have gone with Joss Butler and you have Ryan Rickleton here who's a crazy good choice and yeah. uh, he will probably be opening the innings for them. In the batting, we have gone with David Miller and Rassi van der uh, The most notable name here that we have left is Jason Roy. But like we said, Pacers should get help up front, which would mean that Jason Roy could be in some trouble because he's not going to be up against any of the easier bowlers. This is probably the best bowling lineup that he's going to be up against with Rabada, Archer. So yes, that's the, that's the pure reason for leaving him at the yeah. moment. Nikhil, by any thoughts on any other batters or any other guys who you want to pick from the section? No, I think if you see the all-rounder section is where the gold lies. So uh, as always, some all-rounders or bowlers ke saath zyada hi jate hai. and because we are also expecting help uh, there, so I think that is very important. One thing you should keep in mind is that we are assuming that we are going to be batting in these teams. So if you see the post lineup that Samuel Laka Sam Karan is listed to open, then that is a completely different ball game. So uh, accordingly, you have to change your team in your team. There is a very good Grand League option which we will talk about in the future. He can be able to number 3 in the number 3, Corbin Bosch. So, there will be a lot of picks. If you have Drevis, you will be open. So, 
ओपन कर रहे हैं नहीं कर रहे हैं कहाँ पे बैटिंग कर रहे हैं उसके हिसाब से उनकी फैंटेसी पोटेंशियल अप एंड डाउन होगी अब ओबेन में कोई नहीं है रॉयल्स के पास तो डेथ बॉलिंग फैलू फायो करेंगे लुंगी नगरी करेंगे तो दैट इज द वे टू डी मार्केट के ओके कौन से ऐसे छः सात प्लेयर हैं जो आपकी टीम में होने चाहिए एंड देन यू कैन रोटेट अमॉन्ग दी अदर्स अकॉर्डिंगली Yes, absolutely. And all rounders, we have gone with Sam, Liam, Devil Bruce, and Andel Feloquayo. Obviously, you have some really good choices here. But John Fortune, if he plays, he's someone who's known to be very sharp and bowl at the stumps. If he bowls second in a pressure chase, he could add some value for you there. Odin Smith, George Linda, guys who we'll discuss in the Grand League options. And as far as the bowlers are concerned, we have gone with Engidi, and then the three Cape Town bowlers in Archer, Rabada, and Rashid Khan. Archer, obviously, there is no certainty how many he'll play, when he'll play. So yes, for now he's in our team. But if he does not play, Duan Yansen is an yes. equally good choice if he slots in. And captain, vice captain are Sam Curran and Liam Livingston. So we are going with the all-round giants as far as that part is concerned. बिल्कुल यहाँ पे आप एक चीज कह सकते हो कि yes, uh, Liam coming off a very decent amount of layoff and injury as well. तो अगर आपको वैसा चेंज करना है यू कुड गो विद ब्रेविस यू कुड गो विद वन ऑफ राशिद के जी और एज वेल अगर आपको वैसे जाना है तो क्योंकि पहला गेम में ऑप्शंस आपके पास हमेशा रहेंगे हम अभी के लिए बड़ा नाम फॉर्म के साथ थोड़ा कॉम्बिनेशन में वैसे जा रहे हैं तो अगर आपको इफ यू फील दैट नो माय विजुअलाइजेशन इज डिफरेंट एंड आई वॉन्ट टू बैक आई वॉन्ट टू बैक समी एल्स प्लीज गो एड एंड डू इट पहला गेम है मेक द मोस्ट ऑफ द लीडर बोर्ड मल्टीपल रोटेशन बनाइए एक प्लेयर को यहाँ वहाँ रोटेट करके जैसे हमने कहा नए बॉल से विकेट मिल सकती है तो जो रॉयल्स के नए बॉल के बॉलर है आपको लगता है कि कोई विकेट लेगा तो उनको आप लेके भी आपके गेम में चेंजेस कर सकते हैं तो शुरू में मैं कहूँगा इन्वेस्ट स्मार्टली प्ले मोर मल्टीपल काइंड ऑफ मल्टीपल विनर काइंड ऑफ लीग्स येस आप बिल्कुल स्मॉल लीग भी खेल पाओगे क्योंकि यू आर द सेम लेवल एज अदर्स इन टर्म्स ऑफ न्यू टूर्नामेंट न्यू सेट ऑफ प्लेयर्स तो आई थिंक गुड गेम टू ट्राई फॉर स्मॉल लीग मिनी जेल्स अंटिल इट गोज Let's pray that this league does not go the BBL way, and uh, we are able to play a lot more small leagues here. Uh, risk level, me, fifty, kaunga, medium, me, because you have still be bigger players to take in. But if, ha, koi out of sale me, saata hai, to agar ab SL bhi khel rahe ho, to hopefully aapko SL team me na dikhe, so it should still hold you in a good step. So yes, back your visualization, and yes, that should that should be the order for the league. Yes, absolutely. Indeed, it should go that way. And uh, keep in mind, lot of the picks that we made, whether it's Rabada, Rashid, yeah. who have uh, not been in form, not taken too many wickets recently. Yeah. So while the big names are there, how effective they are, only the conditions and time will tell. Yeah. So watch out for that part. And now let's look at the Grand League options. So Nikhil, why why are Grand League picks for this one? आपको एक्सपेक्टेशन वैसे रखनी है बट क्योंकि फर्स्ट फ्यू गेम्स है तो दिस आर देश गेम्स टू ट्राई आउट समबड़ी यू फील दे कुड बी दिफरेंस मेकर्स फॉर यू If he doesn't play, or you feel he may not make an impact, Andy Lee is a good guy to back. Hmm. If he is bowling in the end overs, so वैसे आपके पास एक काफी अच्छे ऑप्शन हो जाते हैं. From the Cape Town side, I think हमने almost सभी प्लेयर को तो ले लिया है जो टीम का हिस्सा हो सकते हैं. So Odian Smith is probably the only guy left for you to try out. So again, he could be very handy. Yeah, you could always go with a Brevis or somebody who is very risky in terms of just. शायद एक ही डिपार्टमेंट से आपको कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट करें तो आई थिंक बॉश एंड ओडियन अगेन टू ऑल राउंड तो यस दैट्स इट दैट इज व्हाट आई फील मे वर्क टू बिगिन विद बट यस इवेंचुअल कॉल पोस्ट ऑस लेट्स सी हाउ इट गोस यस एब्सोल्युटली टू मोर ऑल राउंडर्स एडेड टू द लिस्ट फॉर अस सो should be condition based picks for you based yeah. on that my two picks for this one one is a hidden all rounder in the batting section who can also bowl a bit vihan loop he bat one down yeah. and uh, mostly bat one down rather 
but uh, with the pace options, he plays pace pretty well. So I feel like if he does not come out in the phase against Rashid, he can have a good time of it. So hence he becomes my first pick. And keep in mind that because they are likely to open with Ryan Rickleton, he might have a bowl to up front. And that is also my second pick, which is uh, Ryan Rickleton. He yeah. is su- a super talented chap and. The, the reason we have not been able to fit him in is because of the amount of options that we have from Cape Town. But if yeah. we feel like either one of these big names are not playing or if you feel like based on conditions you are ready to drop one of the other big names, then this guy will slot in. And even if he does not slot in into your mini GL or small league team, he'll surely slot in for uh, rotations because I think many many of these big names that are playing in this game that we've picked, whether it's Joss, Miller, Liam... Uh, many of them are coming either off not too much game time recently yeah. or are coming out from not too much of great form, which yeah. would mean that many of these local players can actually have an upper hand in the starting set of games because once the stalwarts get set in and understand the conditions, then it will be, the challenge will only get bigger. Yes, if you don't have room, you have to experiment with yes. As you say, first few games, best ones to try. Uh, and you can also spend your time trying to read more on these players. Uh, it will help you not only gain knowledge on them, but of course in the fantasy arena as well, you'll be able to make a bit of those differential calls in your grand combinations. Yes, absolutely. And now before we get to the jersey question, we hope that all of you are participating well in the FCP investment leaderboard. Another set of days left, so ensure that you keep investing well and get your hands on some of these amazing prizes. And now we have our jersey giveaway question for this specific game, which Nikhil Bhai will display on the screen. And it's how many wickets do you think Rashid Khan will take in this game? So, the number of wickets followed by the number of runs. And like always, the wickets will be the first part. And if someone has got it exclusively correct, then they take it away. Otherwise, the number of runs that he's conceded will be the tiebreaker. So, you can comment in the descrip- in the comment section who you feel or rather what you feel his figures will be. And we hope that one of you take that away too. Have a great game and enjoy the new league. Hopefully, less drop catches and good umpiring and uh, <laughs> yes, less less random occurrences. <laughs> yes, yes. That is enough prayers for one game. Let's see how it goes. Yes, have a good one. All the good luck to you.